Hey everyone, Jennifer Flodine here from SMS team, uh, AKA Jenny from the shop. We just wanted to shoot you guys a quick uh, video message about some IAQ stuff. We've been getting a lot of phone calls. It has been Corona crazy over here. And most of the calls had to do with indoor air quality questions um, around the Ultravation product line. So we wanted to get you guys some information, see if you can share it, and hopefully you'll find this informative. The ASHRAE, one of our um, industry organizations that we look to for a lot of information, has finally released some guidelines regarding the use of UV uh, lamps and control of airborne infectious disease. And so this is important because many of us look to ASHRAE for setting standards. Um, they do a lot of publications, testing, and standard writing. This is available on their website and I'll provide a link for it. But basically when you get to page 14, they have some recommendations. And this document isn't only about um, UV, but it, UV is covered. So, um, you know, they say some infectious diseases are transmitted through inhalation of airborne infectious particles, which can be disseminated through building pathways that include ventilation systems. Okay, then skipping down here, it goes on to say in the, the third paragraph that um, building designers, owners, and operators should give high priority to enhancing, enhancing well-designed, installed, commissioned, and maintained HVAC systems with supplemental filtration, so we know that's important, UVGI, and in some cases, um, additional or more effective ventilation systems to the breathing zone. Filtration and UVGI can be applied in new buildings at moderate additional cost and can be applied quickly in existing building systems to decrease the severity of acute disease outbreaks. Indoor Air Quality Guide, ASHRAE 2009. Okay, so ASHRAE came out with that information. Now, they're calling out UVGI. So when we think about the coronavirus and what the CDC is recommending for healthcare professionals, uh, they're recommending a mask, it's called the N95. And the N95 mask uh, will limit a particle size of 0.3 microns. And we measure all different types of air pollutants in microns. So um, just to give you an idea of micron sizes, um, I really like this video. And when you look at it, you can see here, we're looking at the rhinovirus, right? And when we compare the rhinovirus, um, to some of the other um, things that we're more familiar with, such as pollen or even a dust mite at 116 microns. We got our micron levels up here. We can see exactly how small this is. So, you know, here we have the human hair on top of a pen and we're going backwards and let's get down to that 0.3 microns, you know. And this is just a really, really great example here, a two, one micron and 0 0.2, 0 0.19. Okay, so, so 0.3 microns. These viruses are very small. So, um, which is why they recommend UV uh, to treat them. So IAQ categories we're typically talking about, that's filtration, you know, they did mention that, filtration. So we see a filter box here. Those are for five microns or higher. So with the viruses, we were talking 0.3 in this case. So that's gonna move us into UV disinfection or UVC lamps. And then we also touch a lot on UV air purifications like PCO and ionization. However, that's not something I'm touching on today. Uh, but right here, I like the same as you can see some beautiful flex stuff. It's probably Thermoflex Everclean there. And um, we've got a filter box. Uh, it's probably got a MERV 11 or MERV 13 filter. That's great. And we have a lamp on the quill. This is, of course, a residential application, most likely. And then up here, we've got induct treatment on the supply side, which is using PCO. So, uh, a, b a bunch of different indoor air quality solutions. But that UV uh, GI, what is it? What's UV GI? It's basically a disinfection method that uses a short wave ultraviolet light to kill or inactivate more or organisms. It's a proven scientific fact that uh, 
UV germicidal lamps are 99 point, you know, whatever effective. It might even be 99.9, but it's in the 99 percentile for being effective. So, you know, UV, it's naturally occurring. We know it comes from the sun, you know, in every day to day life. And we can think of a lot of other sources of UV like tanning booths, black lights, fluorescent lights, lasers. And then we have those germicidal lamps. So um, how does it work? It alters the molecular bond of a microbe's DNA. So it actually sterilizes it um, and makes it unable to reproduce and, and kills, kills the microbe. So um, in the commercial systems, a lot of times we're looking at a commercial rooftop and I like the images that are in this video because it kind of shows two different scenarios here. Usually in the commercial portion of the Ultravation product line, we're talking about matrix. So if you hear the word matrix, so, you know, so here we have some large commercial coils in a rooftop unit. And then here too, we can see uh, some airstream purification. Okay, so we're, we're getting it at the coil, so it's not growing and reproducing in the coil. The coils are wet surfaces that are conducive for growth. And then we're also getting it in the airstream. So this is an area where we're treating two different ways. So that's really good. Um, and um, in the matrix, um, you know, they have some really great brochures, which I'll attach to my email. And, you know, here's some more examples of how some of the lamps are installed. One of the products that I really like to recommend in the matrix is the matrix easy. I like the matrix easy because, um, it has a magnetic mount and it's very versatile at installation. You have options for 22 inch, 33 inch, or 62 inch lamp lengths. You have the light shield. Um, and this just is a very, very nice system to install. We have you know, other systems available, but today we're going to be recommending the UV matrix. Another commercial solution that was called out in that ASHRAE document was the upper room. This was something that wasn't as popular. It's probably going to get more popular now, but it kind of reminds me of a mini split. And how it works is it basically gets mounted on the wall. You've got some heavy, heavy gauge steel cabinet here and uh, some aluminum reflectors that reflect the UV light up toward the ceiling. Okay. And then as the air um, circulates through the room naturally, which you can see here, um, is passing through this UV field and becoming um, purified or um, disinfected, I guess I, I could say. So that's called upper room. This is common in Europe and um, it's great for, you know, even non-ducted um, places or scenarios where you're just trying to get extra um, purification within a room. These things, when they're mounted in larger areas, you're going to be mounting them every 15 feet. And there's also some restriction too. As you know, UV light, you, you don't look at it directly with your eyes. So with, with a piece of equipment like this, I think it needs to be mounted at least seven feet high. And then those fins are directing the UV upwards. So um, that's the upper room. And then I did want to just show quickly some residential stuff just because we want to be safe at work, but we want to be safe at home too, right? Um, little residential A coil, there's, your, there's that filter again. Um, and, you know, we can just install these lamps uh, within the inside of the A coil, but also up here too. And this, this little install here with the light shield is um, our easy UV. That's the residential uh, version actually of that that commercial unit that I was showing earlier um, but what I really like um, for the residential side is the UV advantage um, UV advantage is great because it comes in a 12 inch or 17 inch lamp length that's one piece you're not going to get the consumer ordering replacement bulbs online because you never replace the bulb you replace the whole entire unit you can get the magnetic mount it's compact about three inches in size available in a one year or two year lamp life so um, the other thing I really like about this product too is that you have, you know, these charcoal panels that you can add on and do PCO. Again, PCO is not a technology we're talking about today, but it is a really awesome technology. So, and then worth mentioning is the fact, you know, if you're non-ducted, you may want to consider if you have mini splits, um, our UV for mini split. Um, the module is very compact. The lights installed directly into the unit. They're universal for any unit. 
Uh, they have a three-sided shield on the light. So very effective for treating growth on mini splits and surface treatment. And then this is a little gem here, the UVP 6000, the unsung hero, I think. You know, if you don't have another solution or you can't get to something else, this is just a great thing. And we've been running it here in the office too, but it's a plug-in and it's awesome. It, it, it does a in-room purification. It does about 500 square feet. So that's a little information about what we have to offer for UV products uh, from Ultravation. We have many, many more, and we've got a lot of time for training. We're all in the office right now. So if you need anything, if you have any questions or we can be of assistance, please call us, please stay safe, and we'll see you soon.